kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me wow. The feathery thief. One day, the kitty cats were playing in their room as usual when they started to notice something odd. Huh? Pudding, have you seen my shiny new whistle? Did you take it? I don't have it. Candy, my brand new whistle is gone. Just wait. First, I have to look for my nice new hairpin. Nope. You didn't take it, right? My magnifying glass is gone. Candy, did you pick it up? Why would I want your magnifying glass? But my hairpin must have been taken by one of you. It, it wasn't, wasn't me. me. Well, I haven't seen your hairpin or magnifying glass, but I want my whistle. But who took my hairpin? Give me back my magnifying glass. Come on. All right. What is all this fighting? Now, which of you kitty cats can tell me where my other earring's gone? We, we didn't, didn't take it. it. That means there's a thief in our house. <laughs> if there really was a robber in the house, I'd have probably spotted him. Huh? What's going on? My jelly spoon was just right here. Where is it? <gasps> I got it. There's a thief in the house. We have to figure out just what the thief wants. But first, we have to figure out why he took the items he did. A spoon, an earring, magnifying glass, hairpin, and whistle. Well, he took a jelly spoon, so he must really like jelly. <laughs> of course, everyone likes jelly, so that's no help at all. They took one of my earrings. And my other hairpin. Which could mean that our thief is a girl, right? And maybe they took my magnifying glass because they can't see well. And she likes sports because she also took my referee whistle. All right, so Grandma is our robber? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Well, Grandma is a very clever lady. Hang on now. We can't accuse someone without evidence. What we should do is leave some bait for the thief, you know? What do all these things have in common? For one thing, they're all shiny. Daddy's car key is shiny, so they used it as bait. Everyone held their breath and waited to see who the thief was. Looks like the robber's a magpie, guys. Oh, oh, who let that bird fly away with my car keys? Oh, 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 oh. Great, how am I ever going to get to work now? Hang on, dear. Don't panic. I have an idea where all our missing things are. Look at that. It's like a treasure chest in there. Seems like we weren't the only victims of this particular thief. The kitty cats called their neighbors, who came running when they heard the neighborhood robber had been caught. Ah. They had all lost shiny things. Ah. <laughs> Here's just our stuff left. Ready? Earring, dear. Ah. <laughs> Magnifying glass. Your hairpin. Ah. Whistle. Ah. My keys and spoon, yay! So that's that. Let's head home. Oh. I feel bad for the bird. She really loves sparkly things, but she doesn't have any of them left. Hey, I've got an idea. How about we find some other really sparkly, shiny thing for the birdie? Then she'd have shiny stuff that was all hers, and nobody would try to take it away ever. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! So the kitty cats left a nice shiny bottle cap for the magpie. And thanks to the feathery thief, they learned that you always need to figure out the facts of a case before you accuse someone, especially your grandma. Musical instruments. One day, the kittens were watching a TV program about musicians. We've been all over the country with this tour already. Thanks for all our fans for supporting us. You rock! Being a musician must be the coolest. 
We should totally start our very own music group. Yay, if we're in a real band, then we can tour the world. Plus, we'll have a lot of real life fans. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! But toy musical instruments don't really work for a proper band. Mm -mm. The kitty cats decided to borrow musical instruments from their friends. Bo had a violin. Just please be super careful with it. And please don't break the bow either. Keep the bow. I'm not <gasps> using it. I'm going to play it just like I was playing an electric guitar. No! Mm -hmm. You cannot play the violin like that. Next, they went to Boris and asked to borrow his tambourine. We're going to need a whole lot of different kinds of drums, so they'll make a bunch of different sounds. <laughs> Sorry, but I've only got the one tambourine. And what did Cupcake have? Look, I have a keyboard. Hmm. No, wait! I thought you were just going to play it here. I can't just give it to you. It's my mom's. Kittens, why are you so sad? We want to start a musical band, but we don't have any instruments to play. <sighs> uh, uh, oh, well, I'm sure our picnic guitar is here somewhere. <laughs> oh! Uh, uh, <laughs> Hello, mm -hmm. kittens. What are you doing down here in the basement? We want to start a band, so Daddy's looking for a guitar for us. Found it! Mm -hmm. <laughs> I found the guitar. Oh, it looks like all its strings are broken. But how can we hope to make a band with a messed up instrument like that? Oh, wait. We can restring the guitar and make it as good as new. Oh, <laughs> Oh, wow! That falling stuff sounded just like a drum set! Well, if you think about it, anything at all can be turned into a musical instrument. Awesome! I have a really good idea! The kitty cats created musical instruments out of different everyday things. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Got two great big fans already. They're me and Daddy. <laughs> and I've repaired all the broken guitar strings as well. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Hey, why don't all of us play something together? One, two, three, four. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, yeah! Meow, 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 meow. Come on, come on! Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> To their resourcefulness and imagination, the kittens formed a great band. Meow, 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 meow. Meow. Kitty kites. One blustery day, the three kitties were anxiously staring out the window. I would love to go outside if it weren't for the wind. Look at it. You're right. There's no way to read a book in wind like that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, or play badminton. <laughs> and Miss Kitty Lou's stroller would never stay put. Well, kittens, when the wind blows like this, it's the perfect day for a kite. So 
sounds great. I think that we should fly kites today. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cats wanted to make their kites all by themselves, so they asked Mommy and Daddy for all the supplies they would need. I think our kite should be super big, guys. Nah, because that'd be too heavy. If it's small, it'll fly higher. We really need to have lots of bows in the tail, right? Bows aren't aerodynamic. We should have ribbons. Not having a tail at all would probably make it fly faster. I don't want a fast kite. I want a great big one. I want bows to be on the tail, not just ribbons. Well, I'm going to make my kite the way I want. Then so am I. So the kitty cat house turned into a kite factory. And all three kites came out quite differently. Big with a little tail. Small with a long tail. And medium with no tail at all. The kitty cats took their kites to the top of a hill along with some friends. Yay! Just watch how it's really done. Looks like it's my turn then. The disappointed kittens went home. The wind is so strong that it made flying our kites impossible. <laughs> the problem might not be the wind. Perhaps the kites that you made weren't quite right for flying. We couldn't agree what the kite should look like, so we each made our own instead. Hey, let's use all our ideas. We can work together to make one perfect kite. But we'll agree on a plan for everything, all right? That is a great idea. And Daddy... <clears throat> Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be more than happy to help you, kittens. I will? Uh, yeah, I will. <laughs> With Mommy and Daddy's help, the kitty cats worked together and made a wonderful kite. But when they got to the top of the hill, the wind had stopped. We'll never fly our perfect awesome kite now. <laughs> Hooray, the wind! Everybody ready? All right then, let's go flying. Ready, set, whee! <laughs> All right, let her fly! <laughs> It was truly wonderful to see the kites soaring high in the sky. Even more special because the kitty cats had made it together. Making up adventures. One day, the kitty cats were staying at Grandpa's lighthouse and just couldn't think of anything to do. Hey, I see unhappy kitties on the horizon. Why so gloomy, young ones? We forgot to bring any of our toys with us. I didn't bring any books either. And now we're just really bored. Ha <laughs> ha! Then it's the right time to tell you all about my amazing hot air balloon adventure. It'll blow away your boredom. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> Come on, I'll show you all the faraway countries I visited and what I saw in them. Yes. I visited South America here, Iceland here, Africa here, China, Indonesia, Botswana, Tunisia, and even the North Pole up here. <sighs> um, aren't you guys interested? No, uh, yes? We're sorry, but it's nothing but a long list of names. It's not much fun to watch you tap a map with a stick. Uh, all right, then I'll tell you about my trip using books that have pictures. For starters, right here in this South America book, you can see the world's biggest waterfall I saw well, there. Well, it doesn't look that big in the picture, Grandpa. 
And I passed over an active volcano once in Iceland. The bubbling lava and smoke was just I wild. don't see bubbling <laughs> lava at all. Well, there isn't any because it wasn't active when this photo was taken. Come on. A little black and white picture? You're saying exciting stuff, but it doesn't look exciting. Yeah. I'd love to be able to see this cool stuff for myself in real life. I have a really good idea. What we really need is to actually go on this trip. Totally. When do we leave? In a uh, balloon. It'll be great. I would love to do that, kittens, but the lighthouse has to be tended by its keeper all the time. <gasps> But hey, you could still have a balloon adventure. You just need to use imagination. Imagination? Grandpa got the kitten's hot air balloon ready. Go on, in the basket. Mm -hmm. And now just shut your little eyes. And imagine that you're in a hot air balloon high up in the sky. Whoa! Oh, what is this? It's a friendly crow. Caw, 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 caw. <laughs> and now the wind is picking up. <laughs> it's like flying in a hurricane. <laughs> and now weather's getting a bit stormy. Rain's starting to fall. <laughs> this rainstorm won't be stopping us. We're brave balloon adventurers on a mission. <laughs> now take your imaginations and go, go, go! <sighs> your imagination can take you anywhere. Flying past a waterfall high up in the air. Over a volcano, what a thing to see. If there's any place you'd like to be. Imagine it, imagine it. Imagination's infinite. The fun and thrills will never quit. Imagine it, imagine it. <laughs> was an awesome balloon adventure! Yeah! Can we take our balloon someplace else right away? Well, of course you can! But for the moment, it's lunchtime. Aren't these sandwiches kind of boring? Well, yeah, I guess they are. I think this sounds like a job for imagination! Let's all pretend that these are really cosmic moon sandwiches! So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Um, um. <laughs> the kitty cats found that their imaginations could take them anywhere, even all the way up to the moon. Inventing an invention. One day, the kittens were walking past their friend Dart's house. Hi there. Hi there. Hello, Dart. We're headed to the park. Do you want to come? I can't. I've been trying to invent something useful, but unfortunately, I'm finding it really tricky. We can help you with your problem. A bunch of heads are better than one. Together we would have one, two, three, four heads. We'll, we'll help, help you. you. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. A good invention needs to be really useful. Huh. Could we make an invention that would do all my teeth brushing for me? <laughs> hey, my teeth are up here! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> mm, it's probably a little easier to just brush your own teeth. You're right. How about a boiled onion detector? Which would tell you if what you're eating has any onions in it. Onions are so yucky. They must be stopped. Huh? Onions detected. Uh, onions detected. Uh, run for your lives. There are onions in the soup. Uh, you could just ask if there are any onions in your dinner. You're right, it would. What about a machine that would help you with deciding things? Hmm, which one should I wear? Ah, thanks a lot! If there were inventions...
inventions like that, everybody would just stop thinking for themselves. Darling, have a great day. I'm off to work. Uh, oh my. Did you pick this outfit yourself, dear? <laughs> nah, this thing does all my thinking for me. Oh, yeah, bad idea. What about a machine that takes your hat off? Uh, or one that'll knock on a door? Or fluff up pillows? Or, or, uh... We've got nothing good. See what I mean? I've been trying to invent a useful invention all day and not a thing. I have a really good idea. We need to go for a walk. Mommy always says if you're stuck on something, you should take huh? a break and go for a nice walk. You're right. What Dart needs is some fresh air and sunshine. Ah. The kittens had lots of fun at the playground. Dart didn't think about inventing his invention the whole time. <laughs> it's really good we decided to take a break. It's a beautiful day. Oh, Eureka! Huh? Taking a break! I think I have my invention. The next day, Dart invited the kittens over to show off his useful invention. My super useful invention will remind you to take breaks regularly. Wow, wow great. great! When the alarm sounds, that means it's time for a break. The arrow picks a fun thing to do while you take the break. Like riding a bike. That's brilliant! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Thanks to his friends, the kitty cats, Dart found out that it's great to take a break if you're stuck on something. Especially if you'd like to invent an amazing invention. The phone! <laughs> One fun fall day, the kitty cats were playing with their friends on the playground. <laughs> then along came Chase. Meow! Meow! Look what my father just gave to me! A, a cell, cell phone! phone. <laughs> <sighs> it's got a music app with tons of songs! It takes photos! <laughs> but most importantly, check this out. Super cool. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. Can I have a turn playing too? And me. Can I also have a turn? But first me. Come on, come on, go! The kitty cats played with Chase's new phone for hours. So I'm gonna ask Chase if I can borrow his phone after lunch so I can take a picture of a slug that I found. And then I want to use it to listen to my very favorite song. I'll finish my cyber soccer tournament too. Wait a sec. Oh. Hey, we should ask Mommy and Daddy to buy us each a telephone. That way we won't need to ask for Chase's phone all the time. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Well, a phone is very useful when you need to call someone and talk to them about something. But using it all the time is not good. Imagine what would happen if everyone spent all their time talking on the phone instead of to each other in person. Meow there, Cupcake. How have you been? Long time no see. Candy, it has been a while. We should really meet up sometime. Or if instead of listening to real live music, only listened on their phones. Huh? Ah. Or imagine if everyone only played phone soccer instead of the real thing. A 
and the ball hasn't moved once in 44 minutes. Boo! Yuck! That wouldn't be anything like soccer. We live in the real world instead of on the phone. Thank, Thank you, you, Mommy. mommy. Super yummy, Mommy. My pleasure, kids. Time to play! Boris, Dart, and Smudge were still glued to Chase's new phone. They couldn't put it down. Goal! Ten to zero! So awesome. I have a really good idea. We have to get them to play with us instead of the telephone. Another goal! Awesome! What? Smudge, let's play some soccer while you're waiting for your phone turn. Yeah, all right. Dart and Boris are ahead of me in line to use the phone anyhow. <laughs> Goal. Goodness, this is fun. Huh? <laughs> Boris, I'm going to play while you're busy with the phone. <laughs> 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 Goal! Well, it looks like I won, just like last time. All right, then. Who wants to play next? Huh? Huh? Uh, uh, Goal! Uh. Hey, wow! A real live soccer game! Hey, everybody, can I play? Yeah, Chase. We could use a good striker. Catch it! Hooray! This is even better than on the phone! <laughs> Meow? Mommy? Yeah, I'm here at the park. All of us are going to play a game of real life soccer now. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Phones are great for calling someone when you need to talk to them. <laughs> Go! But playing is always more fun in the real world with friends. The Quiet Game. One day, Mommy sat down to work on her new kids' fashion designs. Mommy! We want to build a pirate ship out in the yard. To play sea adventures and stuff. That's a great idea. Uh, show it to me when you're finished building it. But we need some things like boxes, tape, and rope, and, uh, lots of stuff we haven't thought of. Oh. Mommy helped the kitty cats find what they needed and helped them carry it to the garden. But she could still hear the kittens outside. We'll build it here. No, over there. And she couldn't concentrate. This pirate ship was my idea. But I drew what it'll look like. And I thought up how to build it, you know. Yeah, and? Kittens. Why don't the three of you play the quiet game? The, the quiet, quiet game? game? Yes. The kitten who can stay silent the longest is the winner. And I'll make the winner their very own flag to put on the ship. Oh, that's great. Just be sure to put a star on my flag after I win. I want a flower on mine. A mushroom for me. Okay, now shh. The quiet game has now started. So after that, the first kitten to say anything would lose the game. The kitty cats kept working on their shipbuilding. But it turned out to be much harder without words. Pudding suggested to Cookie that they build the mast out of old skis. But Cookie thought that Pudding wanted to go skiing. And it was summertime. Cookie tried to show Pudding that it was summer. You can't ski on the grass. But then Pudding thought Cookie wanted to ski. Cookie and Pudding tried to understand what candy meant. Was she saying they could ski on the sheet instead of snow? Or did she want to play ghosts? Or maybe she wanted to make a big painting. At last it was clear. Candy was saying that the sheet would make a great sail.
Only the kittens would need to ask mommy's permission. Uh -uh. But none of them wanted to talk and lose the quiet game. The wind almost carried the sheet into a puddle. They all knew what they should do was call Mommy. Who would be the first to talk and lose the game? <sighs> At last, my work's all finished. Mommy! Help! <gasps> oh, Mommy! <gasps> the laundry was saved. Mommy! But it looked like all three kittens had lost the game. Okay, it's time to decide what's going to be on your flag. A flower, mushroom, or star? But didn't we all lose the game? We all broke the quiet game rules when we called you. Which means all three of us lost the game. But you all did the right thing. You went ahead and built your boat quietly. And you only talked to stop an accident from happening. So I consider all three of you winners. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The quiet game turned out to be a lot of fun for the kitty cats. And not only did Mommy make them a very special flag, but she let them use the sheet as a sail for their boat, too. Snow sculptures! One day, Painter Cat was holding a competition for the best snow sculpture. The winner of the competition will receive an entire box of yummy cookies. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Look at the camera, everyone. Smile, say mice. Mice! Here are your shovels. Now, imagine the snow is your clay. Just find your inspiration and scout away. Begin! <sighs> I'm gonna make a big snow cat! I'm gonna make an even better snow cat! So am I! Boris decided to make a snow cat too. And so did Dart. And Cupcake! Um, I think the arms are usually made from sticks. And for buttons and eyes, you can use nuts! I didn't bring nuts. Dart, can I have some? And me, please! The nose can be made from a pine cone, like this. Whoa! All right, let's take a look at these sculptures and see who's going to win these yummy cookies. Me, me, me! Well, first we have to figure out which is the best sculpture. <laughs> but when Painter Cat saw the row of look-alike snow cats, he had no idea how to choose the best one. Meow. This is a bit tricky. My snow cat might be the whitest of them all. But they're all made of the same stuff, so they're all the same color. Let's see if we can find any other differences. <gasps> but just then, another heavy snow shower began, covering snow cats and kitty cats alike in a squishy white blanket. Mm. Whoa! There's snow all over everything, see? Hey, that hurt. Sorry, I really thought you were my snow cat. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, if we're still going to have a sculpture contest, you kittens need to dig out your snow cats. Hmm. But digging snow cats out of the snow is hard. Hey, where's my snow sculpture? It was right here. My snow cat's in good shape. No, it's not. This is all that's left of mine. Oh, no. They're all ruined. <laughs> we should make our sculptures back at home, guys. That way the snow won't cover them up. But, Cookie, at home they melt in no time. Then we should make them out of something else, like metal. Metal doesn't melt. Sure, we could. But then they wouldn't be snow sculptures uh, anymore. They'd be like uh, robot things. Well, then... Uh... I don't know. But I think I'm really hungry. Hey, something just occurred to me. Pudding, look. Your sculpture looks like a cake now, doesn't it? Huh? <laughs> That's right, it does. All you need is a little rose on top. Awesome! awesome. I'm going to shape my snow into a beautiful crown for a princess. I'm making a snow rocket ship. <clears throat> I'll make a snow clown. 
Now every kitty cat was making their own special sculpture. <laughs> Candy made Daddy, Mommy, Cookie, Pudding, and herself. Well, now the sculptures are so different and wonderful, it's even harder for me to pick the best one. Aww. But I do believe I have got the answer. Everyone deserves their own box of cookies for their awesome sculpture. Hooray! We won! I'm so proud of all my cookie winners. That's one of my recipes, by the way, everyone. Oh, I think that it's time for the local news to start. A snow sculpture contest was held today. Cookie, Candy, Pudding, Boris, Dart, and Cupcake were the winners. What a talented bunch of kittens. We're on TV! We're famous now! Everyone loved our sculptures! Turns out Daddy had the great idea to take his competition video to the news station. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! How wonderful that the kitty cats could share their sculptures with the whole town and their prize cookies with the whole family. Learning to fly. One day, Daddy brought home a remote-controlled flying toy. Daddy, what is that? It's a quadcopter drone. It's like a tiny helicopter with four rotors instead of one. You control it with a remote just like a toy car? Amazing! Can I play with the drone too? Me first! Give me the controller! I want to try too, Daddy. Kitten dears, I'm very sorry, but this is a toy that's only for grown-up cats, like your daddy. It's not easy to control it. It's better to fly outside. In a little while, we'll go out and try it together. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! But later on, I have to finish what I was doing first. You can look at the quadcopter all you want, but be careful and don't try to fly it. But toys are for kittens, aren't they? Not for grown-up cats. Yeah, it's not like we couldn't figure out how to make the quadcopter fly without Daddy's help. I guess we are the toy experts, so it should be fine. But shouldn't we take it outside? There's more room for flying there. Hi, guys. Look what we brought with us. Wow, that is really cool. My uncle has one just like it. You really know how to fly it? Of course. It's really not that hard. Tell Daddy. Oh. There's only one thing we can tell him. We have to tell him the truth. Daddy! Aha! Uh -huh. So are you ready for your first flying lesson? We'll hand me that controller and we'll head outside for our very first flight. We're sorry, Daddy. We thought we could do it ourselves. We already took the drone out. We tried to make it fly, but we had trouble controlling it. And now it's stuck in our chimney. Huh? The chimney on the roof outside? Uh, oh, my kittens, I had reasons for telling you not to fly this by yourselves. You could have broken the quadcopter or words hurt someone. Yeah, I guess we didn't really think about all that. I won't take anything without permission ever again, I promise. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that, kittens. And it seems our quadcopter isn't broken, so that's good, too. I'm guessing the controller's broken, and that's why we couldn't fly it right. 
No, the controller's just fine. Trying to fly a drone like this is a little difficult. And that's why I said it was a toy for grown-ups. <laughs> an ace pilot. We'll never be able to fly the drone like that. Sure we will. When we get really, really old, just like Daddy. Probably earlier than that. You just need to learn and practice. But never without Daddy there to teach you and to supervise. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! That is how the kitty cats learn that some toys are more complicated and can only be played with when you're with a grown-up who can help you. <laughs> Mommy's cold. One day, Mommy had caught a cold and had to stay in bed. Here's your breakfast, kittens. Oh, I'm just going to go take Mommy some porridge and honey and lemon. Our um, poor Mommy. Being ill is no fun at all. I hope that she gets better really quickly. Well, we could help her feel better. What if we did something really nice for her? Oh, yeah. Maybe by cheering her up, we can make the cold go away. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! I once heard Grandpa say that laughter was the best medicine. If we really want Mommy to laugh, let's put on a clown show. <coughs> <laughs> Mommy will laugh so much, she'll get better right away. Hot water bottle to keep your toes warm. Here, have some lovely honey with lemon. Uh, thank you, my darling. Achoo! The kitty cats will now perform the funniest show that you've ever seen. We added laughter medicine. <laughs> la, 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 la. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Mommy's having much fun. Kittens, could the three of you please go play in your room? You shouldn't be near Mommy just now. You don't want to catch her cold as well. Aww. But how are we going to help Mommy if we can't be in the room where she is? We could play a nice concert for her outside. Let's do yeah. it! I've heard that music can make cats feel better. The rain had stopped, and the kittens were ready to start their concert. One, two, three. Let's begin! <laughs> Darling, what is that strange noise I hear? Um, kittens, could you find a different place to practice, please? Mommy needs peace and quiet to rest. How are we going to do something nice for Mommy if she can't see us or hear us? We could bake her a delicious cake and then bring it to her. But we don't know how to bake a cake pudding. Well, I've watched Daddy do it a bunch of times. The first thing we're going to need is eggs. And flour, right? Kittens, what was that? Oh, me wow. We were baking Mommy a cake so she'd feel better. We want her to feel so good that her cold goes away. Thank you very much for trying to help Mommy. But for now, we just need to be patient and give her time to get better. And I'll do everything I can to take perfect care of her. It's a real shame I can't make the sun shine for her. You're right. Mommy's always really happy when it's sunny out. I have a really good idea. Hmm. Ah. Uh -huh. Darling, look there. The sun is coming out. Just look what a beautiful, bright, shiny sun the kittens have made for me. It's really, really cheering me up. I'm beginning to feel better already. Mommy started to feel better, and Daddy allowed the kittens to visit her. Mommy! Oh, how are you feeling now, Mommy? <laughs> I'm feeling much better. My lovely kittens really cheered me up. And with all that rest and quiet, I'm really much, much better now. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! 
yes. <laughs> oh, darling, sounds like you need some bed rest. I think it's my turn to take care of you for a while. <laughs> we'll draw a rainbow to make you feel better. <laughs> <laughs> the kittens learned that rest and relaxation is the best cure for a cold and a sprinkle of kitten sunshine. Kitty clothes. One day, Mommy was working on her new line of clothes for kittens and ran out of fabric. Kittens, I need to run to the store. If you do need something while I'm gone, ask Daddy in his office. Okay, okay we, we will, will, Mommy. I can't wait to see all of the cool clothes Mommy's working on. Why don't we take a look? They're right there in her office. <laughs> hey, it's a kitten-shaped doll, except it doesn't have a head. That's Mommy's catechin. It's a special model shaped like a real kitten to help Mommy make sure the clothes she makes will fit nicely. The coat on the drawing on the wall looks pretty nice, but the one on the catechin here doesn't. Oh, poor Mommy. She had so much to do that she didn't have the time to finish it. Hey, why don't we help her? Let's do it. We'll help make Mommy's coat the best kitten coat ever. So awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. We need to add some pockets and a collar. Cookie, bring us some glue. I will draw the collar and the pockets. After that, pudding, you can cut them out. Someone needs to try it on. Well, professional models are usually pretty tall, and since Pudding's the tallest one, it's pretty clear Pudding should be our model. Go on, Pudding, see how well it fits. Well, I'll try it, but I don't think I can pull off that walk the real models do. Ouch, I can't see anything through this collar. Looks a little bit too high. It really shouldn't cover up your eyes and mouth. We could cut some slits for his mouth and his eyes. I'd only be able to see what's right in front of me, though. What if I needed to look in a direction other than straight ahead? We don't need to cut holes at all. We can just fold the collar down. Cool, good. Yeah, that feels a lot better. Mm, except, uh, I can't get my paws into any of the pockets, though. Oh. That's probably because we kind of glued them shut. That's all right. They still make really pretty decorations. We can also glue some pretty buttons onto it and make it the prettiest coat ever. The kittens were so enthusiastic that they covered the whole coat with buttons without even noticing it. Oh boy, now it feels like it weighs a ton. I can't even lift my paws up. I guess it'd be all right to remove a few of the buttons. Oh no, now it's covered in glue, which doesn't make it look pretty at all. What if we covered up the glue with ribbons? <laughs> can't walk in this thing. <laughs> Kittens, what are all of you doing here in my office? And where's the coat that was on the catechin? Mommy, I'm wearing it. We decided to try and finish it. We're, We're sorry, sorry, Mommy. Mommy. <laughs> Don't worry, my darlings. That was actually just a practice coat to try things out. I'll make the real thing with this fabric I just bought. And if you would like to help me out, you're all very welcome. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> Perfect if you practice, or at least that's what they say. And we're learning that the fact is, if you work hard every day, oh, you just won't believe all the things you can achieve. Do your best, let them see all you can be. The new coat turned out to be awesome, and the kitty cats were really happy that they got to help their mommy. <laughs> <laughs>